Massachusetts. Just one of those Trailer Park Southern boys, Louisville, Kentucky. Not a, um, not an easy place to live. Springfield, Mass. Not an easy place to live. These are two very different, but similar people. Yeah, I was, I was just gonna say they're similar people, but very different boundaries in their lives. Like this is going to be a fight. And this is going to be something where neither guy is going to back down. I mean, you want to talk about two bulls. All right, so the pig and the cow. And I don't know about that. I wouldn't call that to be to his face. Well, no, you never say to his face. Off the ropes. Oh, neither man budging. And Beef looks like he's just warming up. How much does Big Beef weigh? He's got to be 305. Easily, easily. Saying you can't stop the sizzle of bacon. Oh. Let's see who wins this war. But the marbling of beef. And Hollister was right there to greet him. Hollister is tough, but he's also smart. He is, and oh! Well, he wasn't smart enough to see that coming. Thez Press by Beef. That's one of the biggest Thez Presses I've ever seen. Those right hands, he's got that left one up too to play defense. Going now, referee almost gets knocked again by a clothesline. Beef charging in that corner. I don't expect this one going 30 minutes. No, I think Hollister has very quickly found oh. himself on the back foot. His knee might have buckled, but still able to execute that power slam count of two. I don't know if Hollister saw that knee buckle and he charged at him and caught the power slam, but dark. if Hollister was smart, he's got to know that, that there's something wrong with that left knee of Gnarls Garvin. There's another chop. Hollister going to bring one right back. Oh, yeah. They just want to fight. <laughs> Brad Hollister saying, see ya, he's out, is he leaving? Is he, done? is he gonna take a loss here? You've suggested this to many people so many times. I have. What are you getting out of it? You get paid the same no matter what. But in Beyond Wrestling, if you do get counted out on what, what is going on back there? What is ha I, we can't pick it up here on our cameras. No, we don't have those cameras that go to the back. What is going on? Oh no! Oh. Hollister on the chair here, and this is a bad place to be when you're facing beef. If you're purposely counted out in Beyond Wrestling, your pay is divvied up to local charities. What? That's correct. And now Big Beef rolling back into the ring, breaking that count. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Be careful. Beef is going to go all the way around. Spanning the globe. Oh no, he missed it. His knee just went into that chair and hit the ground hard. Jesus. He took a really big risk there, and Hollister was waiting for the right time. Brad Hollister is so smart. You know the guy's running around, he can't stop the momentum. Just get the hell out of the way. And Brad did that. And the shoulder and arm to the apron as well. Hollister getting beef right back in that ring. And this is where Big Bacon, this is where he makes his money. I want to see what Brad targets because he's so smart. Going after that left shoulder. So we know the knees hurt. We know the shoulders hurt. We know that the lungs hurt from that lap around the ring from a big guy like that. Stomping him out in the corner. Off the ropes. 
running hip attack by Bacon. Did you see his next snap? Beef is hurt right now. He is absolutely writhing in pain as this crowd trying to rally him back into this fight run. How many times at Wrestling Open have we seen Hollister dominate and finish his opponents? And that's what Brad's done for the last 10, 12 years, is dominate throughout and then hit you with something big. Beef with that Irish whip and a reverse and a divorce court on that arm and shoulder by Hollister. Puts the leg. But Garvin getting the shoulder up. Hey, Only a count of two, out. and you're gonna have to do a lot more than that to beat someone as white trash as Charles Garvin. And screaming at the referee was Hollister saying, you wanna quicken up that count here. And that senton is usually to the chest of his opponent. Now Hollister doing it to the arm and shoulder. Targeting that left arm, very, very smart, but Garvin loves to fight. I mean, him and his wife fight in the trailer park every Tuesday yeah, night. They do not. 30 style boxing. No, and do now, not. Brad Hollister pulling on that arm. And going to try that Fujiwara arm bar. Not able to get much force on it at all. Yeah, the way Garvin moved his body in. But yeah, Hollister's targeting the arm. He's smart. This is what you gotta do, arm and shoulder. That might have been low. Oh, there is a headbutt to the chin on Garvin, and just like that. Also rocking him, but Beef giving it right back. Oh, caught the knee right to the solar plex. Big Larry for Beef. Beef flying through, using that body as a weapon. There's a reversal off the ropes, and Beef right there to greet him. He wants no distance between them at all. Faders him into the rope, double arm. Butterfly suplex. But how much did he get on that with a lack of power in the knee and shoulder? He's at least gonna try it again. Yeah! And now, Garvin feeling it, the momentum, the pendulum is swinging here. I don't think Hollis even realized it. Oh, ripping at that shoulder one more time. But Beef just keeps charging forward. Yep. He is a bull. Beef. Throwing him with that right arm. Now, holding the shoulders. Hollister able to get out. And now Hollister, the one on the back foot. Now Hollister, the one trying to figure out his next course of action as Beef trying to get some blood flowing through that knee and through that arm and shoulder. And now, picking him up here. Trying to hoist him up on the shoulder, but that arm may have given out and Brad Hollister able to fight down. Irish whip reversed. Back elbow by Bacon. Bacon has got to end this now. He's going to try that jackhammer. He's going to go for it. No beef. Able to push him off. Hedges him. Alabama slam. And now. Oh, oh Lord. Jesus. Crushes his chest. I have no earthly idea how Hollister was able to get his shoulder up after his chest was crushed. That was more dangerous than when Earthquake sat on Damien. That was gross. And yet somehow, Hollister showing what he is made of here. Despite the fact that I don't like the way he does things sometimes, he is triple top. Yeah, he's got cracked ribs for sure. Use, utilizing that head as a weapon now. Cranial blows and beef standing right up. Put up your dukes, Brad. Brad fighting back here. There's another right hand. How much are on those punches after that seated splash? Look at the fight here. Beef getting the better of it though. Here we go. And still able to keep that left up. There's a knee from Hollister. Oh. And a knee right from Brad. Perfectly placed on the chin of Big Beef. Big Beef is like the forklift rock you don't want to piss off. Ducks that clothesline. Double cross body like two Mack trucks meeting in midair. Beef and Big Bacon both go down. I freaking love pro wrestling. I'm Bacon. I'm Nick. Two men just fighting. Unbelievable impact.
between these two behemoths of the ring. Bringing it at test of time. Use that hashtag. Let us know what you think. This one could go either way. This is one of my favorite matches. I've been looking forward to it since I heard it was announced, and they are not disappointing right now. Bacon gonna try to put this away. No. Beef sends him down. Beef will keep fighting. He's got that red neck in him where he just won't stay down. Gonna try that double underhook. Went for a headbutt it, but it got blocked by Beef. Yeah, Beef was able to put the body and chest in the way. Gonna try that power bomb. Slips out. Reversal. Off the ropes. Look at the strength from Hollister. He got it. No, he didn't. Only a count of two. How do you keep Big Beef down? I mean, this guy's so stupid, he's gonna keep fighting. I don't know how you keep him down, and frankly, neither does Hollister right now. He is throwing everything he has. Wow. The straps are coming down. He needs business. You are white trash. You are a moron. Oh, he blocks it. Oh, there's a forearm. Look at him. Look at him just throwing haymakers right now. Jesus! Hollister is so gassy, he can't get his arms up to play defense here. Holy shit. Oh, spinning back fist. Might have been the elbow. Yeah, he caught him with the elbow. He's out. Oh, God. Charges in with a splash. Wow. What a match we are seeing at test of time. Use the hashtag. Tell these guys. Get, send money to, to their page now. This is incredible. Up to that top rope is beat. This is a huge risk. No, he missed. He hit hard. You see him favoring his knee yeah, right away. That was a bad landing. He came down on that knee once again. Oh, shoulder first into that post. This is a terrible, terrible spot for Beef. Yeah, he went right through. What's Brad oh, is he going to try that deadlift? Is he going to try this? It's too late in the match. Oh, good God, he got the jackhammer. He hit it. Hollister survives Big Beef. What a hell of a contest. What a fight. I have been very critical of Brad Hollister during his time at Wrestling Open, but man, hats off to him. That was a career-defining victory here at Test of Time. What a match. Bacon beats Beef, but man, it takes two to tango, Paul. And Big Beef brought that fight. And it, I think it brought something out of Brad that we haven't seen yet. And he needed that killer instinct. A well-earned please come back chant for Big Beef, Gnarls Garvin, man. What an effort he put in here today. Brad Hollister was the better man tonight. But man, I would love to see Beef back one more time. Oh, absolutely, but unfortunately, he's gotta go back home to that single wide. Not getting the double wide after tonight.